Because like, That's true. I, I really, like, and I get it. You know, excuse me, man. The guess. But like, I get it. Like, you know, he's having fun. And he's not taking it seriously, which is fine. But like, right. you know, me as a rapper, I'm like. I wish he would actually try because I know that he could actually put something out that's pretty good and you know it's something that I would listen to. But um Right, right. Well, it's you know, also, he's doing his thing, which I respect and that's fine, you know, but Oh yeah, like I re- I respect I like little peepee, like I respect that dude, like for real, because yeah. like the part that I don't respect is like him dogging other rappers, like singing that they're shit when I'm just like my bro. Yeah, I don't understand like in his in uh Josh's latest song. I don't know what the fucking title was. It was some bullshit, but he was like, you know, Beyond Be, or Beyond Be, uh, Little Lil Peep, he dissed me in that. And I'm like, why the fuck are you dissing me? I mean, whatever. You yeah, diss yeah, me like, as much as you want. But like, I, like, I didn't say shit to him. Like, we didn't have any beef. He just dissed me out of nowhere because he said that I was asking for a feature. And what he was referring to was, um, you know, Donkey Kong or Donkey Dong with Lil Yeah. Lemon? So originally, I was. I was going to have PP on that song because I was like, this fits his persona, you know, like, you know, he likes to do this type of silly shit. So I was going to have him on the song. And then um, he was like, oh, no, it's too vulgar for me or whatever. I was like, okay, that's fine. (laughs) You know, no problem. I'll get someone else on it. And then, like, he comes out with a diss. Like, I'll go ask him for a feature. And I'm like, bro, like. (laughs) Yeah, and. But, but, I, I, like it's just it's stupid. It's like you, when someone does that, it just it's like you can clearly see they're trying to get you to diss back. You know, they're trying to get you to snap back. But like, you know why? why? He like he he like for that. But yeah, that's a question to ask. But like he doesn't want you to snap back because with those fucking um, boss up, this is you went hard as fuck, and I can guarantee you, you will go hard as fucker. Like you, you will fuck him and they ask with your lyrics. Like for real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my lyrics. That's a new one. I never heard that one. No, but like that's like it. It. I don't want to. You know, like I don't have that's beef true. with little little people. You know, I don't. Well, I never yeah, had yeah, a problem no, with him. I, just, I don't know why he's like randomly dissing me out of nowhere. But that's besides the point. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. Right. He could. He could speak his mind. That's fine. But. Um, Right, you know. and that's that's honestly uh, that's honestly my opinion. Like when um, him and uh, when uh, Con- like Cactus and uh, Controversy were dissing him, they were asking me if I was gonna jump like jump on or like going to make a diss about like dissing him. And I'm like, well, I would, but like he hasn't given me a reason to diss him. If that makes sense, like yeah. he hasn't pissed me off enough to the point that it <laughs> just like you know I have to hardcore diss someone because in order for you me to diss you, I you would have to fucking just be like an asshole to me like you would have to just like well like say that you know the basically like my principle is you know i'm only gonna diss someone if they're an actual threat oh yeah so like boss up obviously he's a threat he's a really good rapper so like he was someone who you know when he got all pissed off about my comment on the song underdogs and then he yeah. responded with his response i was like okay he you know he's a heavyweight like he's someone I'm gonna have to go bar to bar with, so I'm actually gonna oh, step yeah. it up. You know what I mean? So oh, yeah. like but someone like, you know, like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna diss someone who is levels below me, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, you know that makes there's no sense. point. Yeah, that, yeah, no, no, that makes that makes sense. It's kind of like a challenge, like with basketball and shit, or like some sports. You don't go up against like someone who's like a fucking uh Twinkie whenever like you're just like Beat me in basketball, bitch! You, you, bitch! You can't, nah, bitch! You go up to the fucking best basketball player. You go up to like a person that's like has like LeBron James type of like you know attributes, and you say, "I challenge you to a match." That's just like the thing with rap. Like you, that's why like when people ask me like my opinion, like um, MGK, I'm like I don't like the dude, but I give him like respect because of the fact that like he had balls to go up against someone as like Eminem. Oh, dude, his diss. Uh, what was it called? Rap Devil. Yeah. That shit was hard, bro. Like, that was actually... I think that was the best diss against Eminem that I've ever heard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, like, and, people and are too mouth. ballsy. Yeah. Like, people Benzino. You know the whole Benzino feud? Oh, yeah. Like, Benzino, he had a couple good ones. But, like, I don't think anything 
Like I think MGK had the best diss, the best diss against Eminem. Yeah, like it, like it was yeah. It, all, like even like I feel like with like the as far like bet like this is go. I feel like MGK has got the, the the best dissing against Eminem and like Benzino right. like uh, I don't know like and then like Nick Nick uh, Cannon or not Nick Cannon um, oh that was a joke yeah that was so bad <laughs> like for real because like it was like the invitation or some shit yeah I mean it was just like no that was so bad it was pathetic it was like he dropped three disses. It was almost like he yeah. was crying out for attention. Like, Eminem, please diss me back. I need it. Like, it, it was so bad. That was horrible. It was funny. It, it was funny because Eminem noticed it. That's why, like, in uh, Music to be Murdered by, it was, like, one of the songs where he was just, yeah. like, uh, like, some of them get the kill him. shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of them get the shit. Like, some of them get the kill shot, and some of them barely nicked him. Like, I'm like, that was fucking clever as fuck. That was clever, but at the same time, it's like, you didn't even need to do that. Like, he killed himself because... If you put out three fucking diss tracks against someone, you already Who lost. doesn't even respond. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You already lost. Like, if you need to put out three diss tracks without a response, like, you fucking lost right there. I'm sorry. I would never yeah. do that. I, first of all, I never start beef. I never start beef. It's always started by someone else talking some shit. Yeah. But, like, when I respond, it's one. It's one track. That's it. Like if you gotta drop three tracks, that's that's oof. that's overkill. That's like that's like a pathetic. That's like showing that you you are like gonna embarrass yourself. Exactly, which is what yeah, no. did. But yeah. um, and anyway, on- let's go ahead. And honestly, like um, with like like community, like I feel like uh, cause like that's how like I was introduced to like our little rap community because it was like it wasn't as structured as it is now because i put like i made like the rap the rapper script chat then you made the spitter script chat and we like have it as a like huge structure for like the rappers community so like if there's new underground rappers that want to join they can come in and join and like see it so we can grow and when i when i joined it wasn't like that it was like oh there's like it was a huge ass like beef that shit because it was like little, little pee pee and then like everyone like was like was attacking the little pee pee and then the little pee pee was just like saying like it was like a, it wasn't it wasn't like this wars but it was like comment wars like for real like i remember going to beyond Beast, like uh comments on like his videos and it was just like like shots taken back and forth from like controversy little pee pee josh beyond beyond like shit the fuck nah, this, I, mean, I mean that's all in the past you know yeah, yeah, that's all in the past, and that's how like I was introduced, and then like the first um, I remember like first time hitting up you when you're just like, yo, I want to make a song, and you're like, sure, well, let let's do it, and then like we made differences, I released that shit, and then like everyone like I had a couple people that were saying like that shit was a banger, I'm like, really? They're like, yeah, and then I was like, okay, so like I waited, and then like I started talking to uh, you know, controversy, and then you know it just evolved, and then like now we got this huge ass community that's just like you know. Voila, like we fucking, you know, made a made a community that just like, you know, is, is an actual community instead of like a couple of rappers, you know? Yeah, it's awesome, bro. Like and the cool thing about it is like we're putting other rappers on, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, underground artists like they come up and um if we have connections we can put them onto some reaction channel or put them on a song or whatever and then they can build their own account right. up, you know. They can, they can build themselves up from that. But, um, right. And I haven't actually had any reactions done to me. I've only had like review videos of mine, um, except for you, because you've done a couple of reactions of my songs on live IG. And like, I oh, yeah. like the only song I've actually got reacted to was, uh, uh, Sick with It, which is me featured on, and it was by, uh, the listener. And then after that, like, I was just like, okay. So I was like, well, you know, I don't really care about reactions. I care about, like, reviews on how people think about, like, my shit. Like, you know? Right. So it was pretty cool. <clears throat> and then, like, this week, I actually discovered uh, April G. Showers is her name, I think. Because I was discovered. Oh, like, April, yo, April G. is the homie, bro. She's awesome. 
Yeah, I was listening to her. I was listening to her rapping, and she can actually rap. Like, like, damn, like that's some bars. Like, I remember listening to some of her uh, older content, and then like, um, I was like, okay, and then like, I was listening to her reactions, and I love how she like breaks down every single bar. Bro, she yeah, like, she like she can rap, but her reacting, she's one of the best reactors on YouTube because this is why, yeah. right? She breaks it down so thoroughly. Like, she reacted to um, you know my song Days and Confused. Oh yeah, that's the song. That's the one I was uh, reacting, or that's the one I was uh, watching when she was reacting to you. I was like, like she yeah. literally like it like was forty minutes. minutes. Oh yeah, it was like forty minutes on it, like a <laughs> like a three minute song. Yeah, like, I was like, like she goes damn. in depth. I appreciate that. Like that's that's something that you know she I can understand. She, like she she knows the craft. You know she can understand it, and she. She doesn't just listen to it for like you know listening pleasure. Like she listens to it for the the art of right. rap. You know what I'm saying? But um, right, bro, right, we right. got to get into this. So like, I mean, I don't even know. Like this podcast, like <laughs> I don't know <laughs> well, what I mean, it's about. To be honest, like we're, I mean, I guess what we're talking about is good because we're just talking about the underground community, you know, which is exactly what we're supposed to be talking about. But I do want to mention a right. couple things. So like, um. Recently, you know 508 Kenji? Yeah. Yo, 508 Kenji is fucking dope. Everybody who's listening to this, you got to go check that boy out. He's fucking dope. Man, I, 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 man, I respect 508 Kenji because at least he got into, like, the Crypt channel. I'm like, Jesus, okay, that, that's fucking fire. And, like, not only, like, because it was, like, the Fatal Forest Cypher or whatever. And, like, um, they went on to, yeah. like, the Crypt channel. And I was, like, like he's... He, Crip was like, okay, I fuck with all these different other rappers like bars, and then like it went to like, uh, um, it went to like you know him, and then like like Crip was like, damn, that's some good bars, and then I was like, fuck, like, what if like he Bro. reaches out to all of us because like you know five hundred eight Kenji like has connections with all of us, and what if like he, like we get that's how we get our exposure, and then like he Crip just like you know starts to realize that we're we're actual good rappers or like we have some good bars, and it's just like what like the fuck like. You know, that'd be pretty cool. Bro, that, yeah, like, 508 Kenji, I'm telling you right now, that guy, I'm telling you, like, when he puts out a song, like, so he had the um the Massacre EP and the Revenge EP. I don't right. know if you listen to those, but, um, dude, those were so fucking good. And, like, I'm listening to them. Every single song, his wordplay is insane. Like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I, I think he's like 16 years old or something. He's young. And he's coming up with this shit. Dude, by the time he's 23, 24, he's going to be in the mainstream. There's, there's no fucking doubt about it. Oh, like, yeah. this kid can rap. Yeah. And, like, it's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, like, for real, for real. And, like, I feel like, like, speaking about, like, mainstream, us being mainstream, I feel like some of. <sighs> Like, cause I've listened to like when you were talking about like cross the line, if we stick our heads up and we actually like, you know, continue to do our, our, our grinds, we will become like mainstream. I feel like the problem with right. that is th like some of these rappers are just doing it. Like some of the underground rappers are just doing it for fun. So I feel like it's not just going to be, Oh, like it's not going to be like, uh, I don't know, like a continued grind that some of us are going to make it to like mainstream and some of us are going to like, you know, it's like, yeah, that's that that happened, but they didn't continue working on their music. No, I mean, obviously, some of us are gonna fall off and not yeah. make it, but like the ones who actually care about this shit, those are the ones that are gonna make it. You know? Oh yeah. But oh, like yeah, the like, thing I... with like Five Hundred Eight Kenji, because and, and I'm saying this right now, like he's honestly, and I, I'm gonna put this out there. I think he. Is the one person in the underground community that's better than me, hundred percent. Ooh, yeah, that's, he's that's, better. That's actually a that's like a lot to that's actually like a lot to take in for real though because of the fact that like not a lot Dude, of people. He's a hundred percent better than me, and I like I I cannot come up with it. Did you say that's true, motherfucker? I'll fuck you up. No, I'm just kidding. But like, <laughs> I can't I, I can't I, come I up. Your reaction to. I was trying to see your reaction to that shit because I was like, that's true. And then you were talking and I was like being quiet because I was like, shit, did he hear me? <laughs> no, no, but like, I'm serious. I can't come up with the bars that he can come up with. And first of all, he's like, what is he, 15, 16 years old? I think so, that's, man. Like, that's I feel fucking insane, bro. Like, 
he's absolutely going to take off in the next couple of years. Oh yeah, yeah. There's and no, like, there's like, yeah. there's no doubt. Like, there's, there's a guarantee that he will be like on top. Like, oh yeah, it's going to be like, it's going to be like some people that are going to be like, um, oh, five hundred eight Kenji. Like, you know, it's going to be like shit. Like he's, like, and I don't know. Like, well, like I said in insecurities, um, the very first lines was just like, yeah, I know that. Um, I hope some people. Um, like I would know if I died or killed myself today that I would know that I would make a change. I didn't know if um the factor is is uh like I didn't know like um it, it would be like that, but I feel like it would be something that's I don't know, like um like I, I don't know, like something that's actually changed like that. Like, yeah. like do you understand? Yeah. No, something no, like that. Understand. That's like on it, like I, I didn't mean to like start it right there, but it's just because of the fact that like I couldn't figure out the words. Like that's the only thing that that can come up to mind is like if I die or kill myself today, like even though I'm not big or mainstream or even like middle stream, like the people that are like Crypt and Dax, because they're they're not mainstream, but they they've got some attention. Even though right. I don't do that, like I I know that I would impact in some way because of the fact that like I have this in the underground community, I've helped a lot of people. I've made like some lyrics, um, and I've made some like bars that go hard, like Operation Life from Operation Life. Yeah. Um, like like my Operation's gonna stay in this house, like like probation, like that shit goes hard. Like, Dude, that think about it. what was it in the Soul Like Batman or whatever the Pitbull line that was crazy. 